lower animals exist to eat and to sleep and reproduce. And brothers, if that's all our life amounts to, then we're not much better off, are we, than the lower animals. But Jehovah God has raised his Christian witnesses above that. Man is a higher form of animal who exists not just to eat and to sleep, reproduce, but to have enjoyments of intellectual expansion, physical accomplishments, and above all, fellowshipping with that invisible one, engaging in the highest activity of which the human spirit is capable, namely communion, transcendental communication with that great entity and intelligentsia God, Yahweh, Yehovah, Jehovah. And as this omniscient or all-knowing one can choose to hear the crying out and fall of a sparrow, his omnipresent sensors receive the outcries, the praises, and the petitions of us human souls groaning and groping to express themselves. And in that same instant, he receives, he computes, he analyzes, he dispatches his heavenly forces to answer and fulfill. Who knows what manifestations he will display during the great tribulation in moving mountains for you, his faithful ones. What intimacies are yet to come? Right now we have a drop of water, of a relationship with him. What intimacies will come as we grow toward perfection? What an ocean of a relationship will yet be ours with the Creator as we grow toward perfection and holiness. Well, that remains to be enjoyed. In the meantime, put full confidence and faith in that ever-ready Shema Tefillah, that hearer of prayer, and with intensity, employ and enjoy that wonderful, wonderful power of prayer.